Comparing Sketch, UX Pin, and Aksher for Prototyping Sketch, known as a streamlined version of Illustrator, is a graphics tool primarily designed for creating user interfaces. While it excels in UI design, it lacks built-in prototyping features. However, several prototyping tools, including UX Pin, allow designers to import Sketch files to enhance their workflow. Interactivity Axure stands out as one of the few tools, alongside Just in Mind and Anatype, that enables designers to create interactive elements on a screen while keeping other parts static through dynamic panels. This feature empowers designers to build prototypes that offer dynamic interactions, allowing content to show or hide based on user inputs, and even remember user choices throughout the prototype experience. On the other hand, tools like UX Pin or Balsamic are more limited in interactivity as they rely on linking pages together. This approach creates prototypes akin to a flip book where static elements are copied across multiple pages, and only the updating content is added on top. Consequently, these prototypes are typically linear and may consist of many pages with similar content. While Axure's extensive set of events enables complex interactions in prototypes, it does come with a higher learning curve due to the intricacies involved. Understanding someone else's complex prototype in Axure can be likened to interpreting computer code, requiring thorough comprehension before making changes. Mastering complex interactions and animations in Axure may take some time, but getting started and grasping its basics is relatively straightforward. In conclusion, the choice between Sketch, UX Pin, and Axure depends on the specific requirements of the project and the designer's preferences. Sketch excels in UI design but necessitates integration with prototyping tools, whereas UX Pin and Axure offer robust prototyping capabilities. If interactivity and dynamic prototypes are a priority, Axure's features stand out, but it may demand a steeper learning curve for more intricate designs. Designers should consider these factors when selecting the best tool for their prototyping needs.